Yeah, yeah, look, it was great to get a win um, you know, after the last couple of weeks and, and certainly on the occasion that we have, the 501 club as we called them, 400 for James, 100 for Ewan and the first for young Jackson. So, um, you know, to get away with a win was, was positive for sure. Yeah. Many other positives. There were scores some tries, but yeah, I, I thought our attack looked really good at times. Um, when we had support around the ball, and when we put on some decent shape, we we uh, scored some nice tries. Um, defensively, you know, they had three of their five tries come off some um, bat ons and tip ons and ricocheted off a kick and stuff. But generally, I thought our you know, our defence on the edges needs to be a lot better than what it was. And we, we invited the opposition back in the game too many times. Just had to go to the chairman. What do you mean to this club? I mean, every club he goes to, he wears his heart on his sleeve. You wouldn't find a more passionate bloke, would you? No, you can, definitely not. Um, look, James is a, as I said before, once in a lifetime, you know, once in a generation top player. But, you know, he just brings so much to the players away from actually the game as well just in his education around how hard he works to go out and play the way he does. And, you know, you just look at, if you look at any pictures of his career and he's always that bloke coming from the inside from somewhere. Um, doesn't matter where to try and stop that try or try and push that person in the corner. It's just the effort areas around the game that, that he brings. And, and he doesn't bring it in any other way, but through his effort and grit and, and um, Perseverance, and he's, you know, he's going to leave a legacy at the club for these young guys to, to really work hard and, and do the right thing, you know. And today was, you know, again a typical James Graham type of, type of game for himself, you know. Um, you know, he's he's in the shed there with his family, which is great. You know, it's come they've come over from um, England, and his wife and his kids, and a couple of close mates, and you know the. Um, you know, all the uh, conversation this week around and the people that have, have, have sent through different things and the videos around it, he deserves every part of that. Mary, he's got to thank his fellow Englishman, Gareth Woodard, for the win today. He was pretty remarkable. He was special. Yeah, four, I thought... Four sorry. weeks ago with him, are you thinking, what are you doing, Gaz, going back to England? It's on, he's going to be I've said that from there. back in October, mate. So, yeah. Um, I just said to Gaz today, he was special. He was the difference between us today, winning or losing. And, and you know, and a lot of other people put in some effort, but you know, you, you just need them that touch of class now and again. And he delivered that today in spades. And you know, um, he's only been back three weeks. We got beaten in the last 15 seconds against South, and we had opportunities last week and we didn't close, and we've got to win the day. So obviously, it means a fair bit to um, to the playing group and and to the coaching staff, and and um, you know, while he's on the field. He gives us every chance to win. These past few weeks show how much the team missed Gareth throughout the season. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, look, Gareth's... You know, he's been... He's been yeah, arguably, uh, for me, he's been our best back for the last six years since he's been at the club. For others, they might argue with that, but he'd be, he'd be in the grand final for it. So, yeah, it's a huge miss. Um, but that's football, you know, his was through injury. Um, you know, we've missed Jack too because he's like Cameron with line speed and stuff and he's not here. So you can only play with the players you, you've got. But certainly Gareth is is the type of player that, um, you know, just brings special things on game day like he did today and, and certainly gives everyone around him that confidence. Mary, you mentioned before you invite, kept inviting the Gold Coast back into the game. What kind of scoreline can you expect if you do that next Sunday? Yeah. Next Look, there's a lot of lessons being learned. Out know, there from a few young fellas as well. They haven't had much experience, but you know the errors that we come up with are, are simple errors. So there's just a focus and concentration thing from a few players. And, and until you, you know, you you play first grade and you consist, consistently um, get put in that environment and under pressure, you can't get better at it. And, you know, you get to train and you can put as many kicks as you want, and um, they'll catch 100 and they have 100, but. You know, come game day, it's pressure or a pressure situation where you're catching a pass or being in the right position for the de defence. Um, you know, you, you've got to be in a situation of playing first grade to, to get that experience uh, and, and make sure you're learning from it as well. So, uh, and, and a couple other players there that, that, need, that are experienced that need, need to make them one-on-one -on -one tackles 
uh, with a lot stronger than, than we're making them at the moment. Uh, I thought our forward pack today were very, very good. Um, you know, some of the, the metres the forwards got and got us on the front foot. It was great. But, um, you know, next week's a different story, mate. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll buckle down early in the week. We'll enjoy tonight for James. Um, buckle down, you know, Monday and, and, and really come out and try and spoil a few, a few sides to finish the year. You know, we've got Cronulla at uh, Shark Park, which is a local derby. So um, they'll be coming out the bullies. So we've got to make sure that we don't allow that. Um, so we've got to be ready for a street fight there. Uh, and then we'll move on to the team after that. Do you think the team will take some confidence out of getting just winning the game? Yeah, definitely. Like it's, you know, it's sort of the one against South Hurt. Last week we created things we didn't finish. Uh, you know, there was there was a try in it, but still we need to improve. And I thought we improved in attack today in, in a couple of really good areas. I know obviously opposition haven't been playing well either, um, but defensively, you know, we've got to make sure that. We've got a big improvement on what we've done today. The last two weeks prior to that, it's been okay. Thanks, guys. Yeah.